you are someone who has sons, do you feel like the next generation is going to be impacted by what we now know about head trauma? Do you think that you and Holly would be not as apt to let your kids play a contact sport just because of what we know? Yeah, that's a that's a real sensitive topic in the household. Is that right? Uh, uh, it is because, you know, and I don't want to sound hypocritical because football has done so much for me in my life and it's brought me so much and so much joy. And, you know, I get asked the question, you know, would you play football again given what you know now? And I always say, yeah, I would have. And uh, only because the excitement, the passion and everything it brought me was so great. Um, but would I let my kids play um, knowing what I know now? That's a tough one. That's a tough one. I mean, um, it doesn't thank sound God. like you'd want to. Thank want them God. To. Thank God. Well, I would say thank God they've gravitated towards baseball <laughs> and basketball. So I don't really have to make that choice right now. Um, but the main thing is that you know, with the equipment and everything that's going on, it's 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 become more safer. But there's no way around the violence. There's no way around the contact and and the injuries that are going to happen with football. It's a contact sport. It's a violent sport. Um, there's going to be issues, but. Um, as long as they're in the right environment and the coaches know what they're doing and, and they're safety first, um, it's still a great game.